Hi everyone, hope you're well. So as you can see, I'm back in my house in my bedroom and I don't have any things, so you might be able to guess what happened. Um, spoiler, I got killed by a creeper off camera um, when I was mining. And actually, it happened a few times. The first time it happened, I was actually... My spawn point was actually set to the outpost in the desert. So I had to run through the nether to get back here. So um, after dying a few times, I kind of just gave up and figured I'd, uh, I shouldn't, I wasn't really planning on doing that much off camera anyway. I just wanted to collect a bit of iron and coal. So uh, we can do a bit of that on camera. And there's a new snapshot out. Um, some of you were saying in the comments yesterday that the new snapshot was out. And... Um, and the reason I wasn't playing the new snapshot was because I recorded last episode just before the uh, snapshot came out. So that's why I wasn't actually playing it in the episode. Um, so we're just going to clear the few that are in there at the moment. So all I want to do just for the moment is to go and collect some coal and some um, iron, and you can see I've set up some furnaces here, but um, I've got a better idea. I think we could use some hoppers to. Um, I figured the quickest way would be to have a load of furnaces, um, but that's kind of very old school of me. Now, the quickest way of really getting stuff done am I going the wrong way? Yeah, there's not really a very mineable area. That's the route to my staircase. I want to go the other way where there's lots more stuff to mine. Um, was I saying? I think the quick, the quickest way of getting stuff done. Oh yeah, look, this just must have been I died right here before rage quitting. Okay. All right, so there's a bunch of stuff to pick up, so that's actually quite good. Uh, keep an eye out for whatever killed me. There's a zombie there. Of course, we don't actually have a sword, so maybe I should craft a sword as well. And actually, first thing. Oh, did I? Oh, has that run out already? Oh, I've got a. Uh, I've got a stone pick, presumably, from when I died. Okay. Um, we could make a stone sword quick, though. Let's grab two bits of cobble. Let's do that. Oh. Not quite like that. That's more like it. Okay. So. So let's go grab a little bit of iron and coal. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be in full on mining mode. Um, looks like I need some coal to make some more torches for a start. But we can try out um, in this new snapshot, which I am now playing. There's the coal block has um, has been added. I don't think it was in there before. Yeah, so the coal block's new. So it's as you would expect. It's nine pieces of coal, and you can actually use it as a fuel item, and it's. When you use it as a fuel item, it's worth, um, I just looked up in a wiki, and it burns the same amount of items that nine pieces of coal burns. So it's just, you don't lose or gain anything, um, but obviously it takes up less space. So you can, so it's even more efficient than coal. So we can have a, we could have a stack, oh, there's a bit of gold there. We could have a stack of coal blocks in a furnace. And then on top of that as well, um, I want to use a chest and a hopper to um, so we can put just stacks of loads of stuff to smell into the chest above the hopper and then it'll go into a furnace. And then I think it works if you have another hopper going into another chest for when stuff is done. I think I might be wrong. We'll find out um, if it actually drops straight through then chests now give off a redstone pulse so i think that can maybe be used to um when you put a redstone pulse to a hopper it stops working it kind of you know it closes it off um so there might be a system of closing it on and off and stuff we'll see i also at some point want to make a baked automated baked potato machine so that's something I might get around to soon. But for this episode, we'll just get our um, some automated iron smelting going. In fact, how much coal... Oh, I just used all the coal I grabbed. 
for torches because we need torches. Mm. So we will now get a bit more coal for actually smelting stuff. And then I think I got a bunch of iron there, didn't I? At least enough to experiment with, I think. Um, okay, this looks like quite a big vein of coal, so we'll grab all of this. And then that'll probably be enough to mess about with. We need, actually, mind you, we need a bit of iron to make the hoppers, so I might need a bit more iron. So we'll bear with it for a second. I just don't have any armour, and I'll have to remember to pull out my sword immediately and make sure we don't die. And probably, in most situations, run away if we get attacked by a bunch of stuff, rather than try and fight. I can hear a zombie, but I can't see where it is, which is always the worst way to be. Let's just pop a torch up there, see if that helps. Um, I'm just going to throw torches down everywhere, just to try and avoid stuff spawning a bit more. Oh, we don't have any food on us either. Uh, so yeah, I would have dropped all my... I did go and collect a bunch of food, but I must have dropped it all when I died as well. So I'll see if there's any in the chest just by our thing, but otherwise I might have to go outside and get some food. Um, but we'll try not to starve before then, and uh, we'll see what happens. Should have enough time to get some stuff done, um, and then I'll I'll run and get some food after this episode. So how much iron is that? Sixteen. I'm okay. I'm going to leave it there. I think, oh, but I can see a bit, so it's always tempting to just grab what you can see. Just the one. Okay. Now the other thing is I've gone quite far in, so um, I shall probably shouldn't run because it uses up my food, doesn't it? Um, but I'll just go back before I get lost. Uh, just try and remember the route. I think this is right. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not, but I think I know where we are anyway. Or do I? Maybe we're lost. <laughs> oh no, here we are. This is where we want to be. Okay. So I'm going to close this off again. This hasn't been closed off because I died every time I went in. Um, but we'll close it off again now. So, um, this wants to be rearranged. Did I have any food? No, I can. I only have sugar, which is not good food. Um, I want to move some of this stuff. So I think I want. Is there going to be enough room? Will I be able to reach something up there? Yeah, just about. Just about. I might want to have it one lower. I mean, this crafting bench can be anywhere it wants. So we'll move. Have this all one lower. In fact, where should I put the crafting? Shall I put it there for the moment? I mean, this can all be neatened up and made to look cooler later. I even tried having the furnaces here, which is actually the outside wall of the uh, skeleton farm, skeleton spawner room. This is the um, pipe going up, but um, I figured I might want to replace that with glass at some point, so I decided not to. I moved them again. Um, Right, so yes, hoppers, we want to have the furnace there placed down first anyway, as I found out once. So I think I'm going to need um, 10 pieces of iron to make the hoppers, and then I'll try and stop it before it makes any more, so that we have the bits of iron, just to check that it works. And then I'm actually gonna. Oh yeah, that's that's going quite slowly. Um, we're gonna need two chests full of hoppers and two chests to actually be chests as well. So I guess they'll have to be placed down first as well, so the hoppers connect together correctly. And then what I could do, I guess, is 
one, two, three, four, five. So it doesn't cook too much. We can take those five and make the first hopper. Two, three, four, five. I think this is right from what I remember. Yep, there we go. So I could try the feeding in first, couldn't I? So let's. Uh, oh, and we can. No, I need more before I can. Okay, bear with. Right, so put the iron in and the coal in. So the iron seems to be going into the hopper, but not into the furnace. Ah. Oh, it's. Seems to be directing itself into the wall. Not entirely sure why it's doing that. Okay, let's try taking the furnace out and in again. Otherwise, it might need to be to the side of the furnace. Nope, that doesn't help. So, um, or do we want to? Oh, I don't know. Let's try that again. Um, I'm just going to hop up on some cobblestone. So I don't think it makes any difference what you're pointing at when you place the hopper, does it? Or maybe it does. Will that still go through the hopper? And, okay, so that's working. So it's going through the hopper. Ah, oh, so it sent the iron through. But it's not sending the coal through. Let's just take one of those so I can hop on top. It's not sending the coal through. But I guess we can stock it up with coal anyway. It's a bit disappointing though. You don't think, um, one, two, three, four, we'll just cook. I think maybe it could uh, feed in coal another way, like with a separate hopper or something. That's really surprising. I'm really surprised it doesn't. Just feed it, feed it into the top. But yeah, maybe that is intentional. Maybe if we have another hopper that like feeds into the side, it will feed it into the bottom slot, so you can specify what is fuel and what you're cooking. I maybe should have looked this up before I started, but um, work it out quick. Then it's still all sorted. Loads of skellies in here, so we we'll just get rid of all of them. Oh, I'm gonna run out of um, I'm gonna run out of food though and starve. Okay, let's make this other hopper quick. I might have to run back to the house for food. I'll edit it out if I do. Um, of course, I need another chest if this does work. So. Okay, so we put the chest there, put the hopper here, um, and then put some coal in the chest. Goes into the hopper. Oh yeah, cool, cool. Okay, that works. Okay, I didn't realise it was that advanced as such. That's pretty cool. So we can load iron in there, and we load coal in there. Uh, can you put signs on chests? And then hope. Presumably, I'm pretty sure, one, two, three, four, so we won't cook it all again because we want to find out, the last thing we want to find out is if we can then take the result and put it in this chest here. I'm pretty sure we can. There's one bit I'm pretty sure does work. Um, I'm going to need more wood for one more chest to make one more hopper. I think I'm out of wood. Uh, yeah, looks like I looks like I am. So I am going to have to pop back to the house quickly. I'll cut this out of the video, and I'll get some food while I'm up there as well. Okay, so I just grabbed some bread from the store. What I figured I would do actually while I was here, what well, rather than cut it all out, is we could um, have a look at the hay bales or wheat blocks or whatever they've decided to call them. Hay block, okay. Um, so that might be a much more space efficient way of storing wheat because you don't always necessarily want to convert it all into bread and actually that's bread is only, every bread is three wheat but every 
hay block is nine wheat and I'm pretty sure you can convert them back can you not convert them back oh oh okay so it's not a good way of storing wheat because yeah okay you can't actually convert them back I have to remember that so that's that wheat wasted I've got a bunch of bread to keep myself alive at the moment though right then so I have got some bread and I've got a little bit of wood I didn't farm a whole load of wood but I'll do that later for now I just need a little bit for that last hopper and then that will mean that um, all our iron can be automatically smelted we can just throw in stacks of it and throw in stacks of coal and then go back to mining and it all just automatically smelt while we're away and then we'll have a chest full of iron which I can then make armor out of and then I can enchant the armor with all the lovely uh, with all the lovely ingots so put that together there and shift click it onto there and um, and that should work so we'll put in those oh we'll put it in the proper one so one two out of that chest through the hopper into the furnace okay and it's disappeared he's gone through that hopper into the chest so I'm very happy with that that's cool so we can go on big mining ex expeditions when I don't die and get lots of coal and iron throw it into the machine and uh, and then carry on grinding experience while iron drops into here which we can then craft and enchant and yeah we've got a whole little industry going on down in here love it okay so that's all for today uh next time i will either will either go mining and make some crazy armor in fact that might be a good idea so that we can make mining will then be safer because we'll have enchanted armor and um i'll try and avoid dying and um, incidentally the first time I died it was because I was on the edge near a pit of lava and a creeper blew up, you know, I had no chance. So honestly, it, it wasn't because I'm a bad player, honest, um, I'm a pro, you guys know that. So um, we'll either do that or we will make a automated potato machine where I'm thinking of having an automated potato farm where the potatoes get washed down with water. Um, but into hoppers, which then do the same thing we'd be doing here, going into a furnace, which then bakes them and then sends them to a chest. So we'll have a chest that will just, we'll press a button and a few minutes later, the chest will fill up with uh, baked potatoes, which will be amazing. So that's all for today. I hope you're well and I will see you tomorrow.